What is up, men? 25 gamers. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video, we're going to be using our defensive scheme of the week series. In today's video, we're going to be talking about the sting pinch zone out of the 3-4 over formation, one of my favorite defenses in the game. Now, coming out, what you want to do for your base setup is you want to base the line. You want to put Brad Jones here, the left uh, middle linebacker, into a deep blue zone. You want to crash your defensive line out, and you want to hold in the A gap with AJ Hawk and you won't always get a guy free at the quarterback, but typically you will get one, and actually sometimes you will get two. Uh, and we're going to show you a couple more uh, looks here at this defense, and we're going to talk about why it's a good base defense. And one of the main reasons is because it doesn't leave you vulnerable. And another thing I like to do is spread my defensive line sometimes, depending on how it goes, and we're going to get into that later on when our, we talk about our run defenses. But as you see here, this defense is very balanced. When you put in there, you see two guys free at the quarterback. It's kind of glitchy the way that the play works. It's not 100% effective, but when you can get those two guys free at the quarterback, only sending five guys, it's pretty effective, in my opinion. And it's effective enough that I'm willing to risk every now and then not getting a guy completely 100% free at the quarterback. Uh, if they block, because if they block a running back against this, and we still get those two guys free, as you see there, they pick it up, but you get that quick block shit off the edge and get in for the sack. The beauty thing about beautiful thing about having the Packers is we have Nick Perry and Clay Matthews, two very advanced pass rushers and very effective. Now another way we like to run the sting for zone as a base setup is our basic zone coverage. We like to put our defensive ends in purple zones, quarterback spy our defensive tackle, and we like to put Brad Jones here in a deep blue zone. Also, we want to spread our line for that same look and make it look just like we're blitzing here. We want to sit in the A-gap with Hawk, kind of fake blitz, and then we're roaming with Hawk the middle. This is one of the best plays in the game, and there you see that quick block shed for a sack. I think it's the best two-man pressure in the game outside of the zone blitz from the 4-3 over and the 3-3-5 two-man under from nickel 3-3-5. So, okay, so we're going to show you this one more time. Uh, again, we want to pinch the linebackers, put Brad Jones in a deep blue zone, purple the defensive ends, and quarterback spy the defensive tackle. It does require some time to set up, but I think it's worth the time to set up and learning the system, and you cycle through these players very quickly, in my opinion. Uh, the only player that really don't cycle through quickly is Brad Jones. What you could do if you wanted to change that is you could flip the formation, and then Brad Jones would be a lot easier to get to, um, just because of the way that the formation is set up. Okay, guys, now one of the things we want to go over here, uh, the reason we want to call this our base formation is because we can call multiple coverages from it. Uh, as you see here, we're going to be calling the cover three coverage, and, and the reason we want to be able to do that is we want to have different shells uh, within our plays. So now, instead of Brad Jones going to a deep zone, he's going to be in a hook zone. And also with the linebackers, it's going to be kind of a different coverage. It's a different shell. And uh, here we're, only, we're going to actually send four guys at the quarterback. And I have found, guys, just a standard four-man rush is not as bad as we thought it was. Um, as you see there, uh, my man C.J. Wilson getting at the quarterback. A four-down lineman rush or a four four just uh, sending, sending some kind of pressure instead of all out max coverage or all out pressure this is a balanced look, a basic principle look, and I really have been liking that a lot lately, as you kind of seen them through my some of my uh, gameplay. Hopefully, you guys saw I'm not really sending uh, heavy blitzers, and we're going to talk about that uh, throughout this season. I actually have a video coming up. I think it's going to be next week. I haven't quite decided when I'm going to do it, but we're going to talk about why. NFL teams don't blitz as much as Madden players do, and uh, we're going to talk about why that is significant and how I think it applies to our game. Uh, here you see we're going to be calling the cover two. What I like to do is sit with A.J. Hawk, and that's why I kind of like to use it in the middle of the field, because when I call this cover two, I can kind of watch the deep my own self. So if I see somebody go deep, I can go with him. Um, there I kind of miss my assignment on Y and RB, but there's that block shed, quick play get in the backfield for a sack now we dropped a couple extra guys there uh, typically this uh, cover two will be ran in goal line situations short yard situations um, and then finally guys we have the two man under here I, in my opinion the two man under is the best man coverage in men in about 25 I don't think it's any secret uh, but I have been liking the cover one a lot lately we're going to talk about that uh, a little bit later and I also have a video coming up later today talking about how to disguise your defenses in Madden 25 uh, we, we did it a different way last year and it's I found out that it's not as effective as it used to be so we're gonna go back over that and there you see the idea with the two men under is you just drop everybody back and see if he can if he can get an interception so and then also guys uh, don't forget the sting pinch you want to set up the pressure um, you can shift your line to the left. We're going to go over that tomorrow. This is a little preview of what we're going to be showing you guys tomorrow in our blitzing portion uh, of our defense. As you see, Clay Matthews comes free for the sacks and five guys. Thanks for watching, guys. We appreciate all your support, and we'll see you guys later.